hello my beautiful collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always your very own menace to society is back please remember to like comment subscribe share the content let's put the devil to shame the devil and his or her minions so let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on here someone is extremely stern and you know stubborn it's what I'm seeing here. Someone is very stubborn and they can keep causing illusions regardless of the truth being revealed. Someone is going through endings in their lives, but they're still set on causing illusions about you and in your life. This is like someone losing a whole lot of finances and things of that nature, losing connections with people, people walking away from them, not wanting anything to do with them at this point, even a dog and cat are running away from this person or staying away from them, but they are still focused on you causing endings in your life, blocking opportunities and things like that. Someone does a lot of mental illusions, mental magic, and this is how they are able to control people around them, right? So they tell a lot of lies. Before they even come towards you, they've already put people in places to tell them stories so that whatever it is they're telling you, when the next person comes to talk to you, everything will co co uh, correlate, basically. This is how uh, gifted this person is in manipulation. But someone is going through an ending, right? They're going through some type of sudden death, not literally, but just in a lot of different ways, finances, relationships, and things like that, like I have mentioned. Um, and this is because this person does not want you receiving some type of of love opportunity some type of cup of love from a masculine energy because they know this is going to put you in some type of beautiful privileged energy this person wants this opportunity for themselves this is why she is doing all of this someone is out here being a jack of all trades when it comes to manipulation one meaning there are you know showing love to this masculine telling him how they're meant to be and things like that and the next meaning they're there they're they're off to go uh manipulate someone to correlate their story about how she and this masculine are t so twins and things of that nature someone wants to get with a masculine solely because of his money because of his wealth okay uh, she wants this abundance but she will not be receiving it if it's an opportunity she's not going to be receiving it someone is extremely pissed off because you are being seen as someone that's not just a beautiful face but someone that's very intellectual someone that's genuine you are the truth you are a blessing to have around and it bothered this woman not only are you beautiful hardworking, you're also loving and compassionate and then you are intuitive as well there is a beautiful union that is coming towards you and this woman is trying to block that so someone may want to maybe like an old friend from your past may want to come in and reignite some type of friendship with you just to kind of gently discourage you from receiving some type of offer from someone so just be on the lookout for that there could be someone in here as well that wants to come in and give you some type of immature offer that's going to cause you to lose your actual opportunity to be with the person you're meant to be with so just be in the lookout for that as well someone here is very cunning and they use emotions like the they're void of emotions but they know how to pretend to have emotions so they can get what it is that they want from people. Someone wants to really interfere with a genuine connection between two people. If you are the feminine energy, there is a masculine that thinks a lot about you. It's that when they think about you, they get like positive energy around them. And this is because they're liking that in their life. It's like someone is longing for something you give them that other people cannot give them, right? So even though per se, they have a queen of cups in their energy, they don't really feel fulfilled because this woman is not a genuine queen of cups. This is someone that's financially motivated. Uh, this is someone that wanted to steal some type of resource from someone else, um, but she's not receiving it. Or for some of you, if she did receive what was yours, it's not going to go as she plans. Someone else may end up stealing it from her or it's going to lead to a lot of chaos from her. It's like every dime of that money she uses is going to cause some type of ending in her life. It's like someone also think that they have done some type of spell work to protect themselves from experiencing some type of karma, but that's not how it works. It's like the karma is still there. Um, there's not enough cleansing baths that you can take to protect yourself from what's coming uh, or from what's already going on because I see the tower out here. This woman is losing quite a lot of finances. Her stability is kind of gone. Someone is having like a mental breakdown behind the scenes and she may even still be walking around pretending like she's okay. 
but this is someone that's being seen as disingenuine. This is someone that's not creative. This is someone that's not intuitive. This is someone that's not spiritually gifted. This is not someone that has a strong connection to source because of the things that she does behind the scenes. Um, this could be someone that may even pretend to be Christian, pretend to be religious. This is someone that will say, oh, you know, my ancestors used to do this. My ancestors is, this is someone that, that will say like her ancestors, um, She's, she's related to Isis or something, or her ancestors go as far back as Isis, things like that. But they said, mm, yeah, Isis don't know you and she don't F with you like that, okay? So this is that kind of person we're talking about. This is someone very disingenuine. We'll even pretend to be an empress energy. This is someone that will go f far and beyond to get what it is she wants. There could be like a wife figure in here for someone that's doing something to prevent someone's work, to hinder someone's work. It say they see you, you're focused on your work, and they're doing things to distract you. They're doing things to cause you ending, bring your work to an end. They may even, for some of you, be calling your bosses to try and get you fired from work. There's a whole lot of shenanigans going on behind the scenes, and it's just redundant. It's like these people do the same thing over and over and over. These are people that have been doing this type of things for decades and decades, and they've been so comfortable because they get away with it. But for some reason, this time around, they cannot get away with it. There could be someone that's standing their ground. It's like they come, it's like someone comes and tells you something about a character you've been around for a while. Let's say they approach like your boss, right? And you've been working with your boss, let's say for quite a while, let's say a year or something like that. And someone, a, a different company that you used to work for approaches your boss and tells them, you know, she's lazy. You know, he's lazy. You know, he doesn't even uh, do anything. He's stealing time from, from you. He steals time. He used to steal time from us. Or, you know, this is not someone that shows up to work. They call off work quite a lot. This is just someone not reliable. You can't trust anything they say. But then, you know, your new boss is looking. It's like, um, this person has been working with me for a year. I've never cut them in a lie. They don't steal time from me. They don't, you know, do any of the stuff these people, these people are saying. And this is because for some of you, the new boss that you're working for is someone that is highly intuitive, has the gifts of discernment, and they just know that there's something off about this group of karmics. And, you know, karmics, oftentimes, they don't realize that they don't fit in. Um, meaning that people see them for who they are. People know that there's something off about them. So it doesn't matter how manipulative they think they're gifted they, they are. Uh, how gifted they are, they think they are at being manipulative. Like there are just certain one of us that can see right through that. Um, we may not say anything, but you know, we see it for what it is. So anyways, your boss sees things for what it is and he's, he or she is just not going for it. And then these types of people will get pissed off and start taking extreme measures behind the scenes and things like that. It may start to interfere with your boss's company and things like that to shut the company down or to prevent the boss, your the new company from being able to receive clients and things like that. These are people that will go to extensive length to prove a point that just cannot be proven. And they don't mind paying people to do things behind the scenes, right? So if they have people that are willing to uh, break into maybe some uh, a system, they will pay them to do that. They may even have people working for them that are willing to do just that. So some of you are dealing with some really malicious, broken, and void characters out here. And who, oh, Lord have mercy when karma returns. You know, Mayat, as I always say, Sister Mayat knows everybody's address, even the nomads. So where can you run? Where can you hide? <laughs> it, it is a, glo it's a globe. It's a circle. Where can you go? Anyways, uh, this Empress energy, wife energy, whoever this is, that's supposed to be a mother figure. This is someone extremely malicious. Uh, this is someone that's cold hearted. She's doing something behind the scenes to interfere with your work. She doesn't want you being seen. She doesn't want you to be prosperous or anything like that. So she's doing things with other people to block your forward movement, but your pathway is clear and someone thinks they can still defeat you, but they cannot. 
Uh, they're going to be sat down by the universe. There is some type of judgment that has been called for a separation. Someone is going to be going through some type of separation and exile um, because of things they've been doing to block a message, to block an offer. But everything that's yours is still making it to you. As you can see, you're going to be closing a chapter and moving on with your life while these people are going through some type of chaos they impose on themselves. Anyways, have a blessed... I just hit myself in the lip. Have a blessed day. I'll see you in my next reading. Goodbye for now.